Reactions, the idiots. I'm Corbin. As with me, as always, is Rick. Corbin, ek bebekufhe. <laughs> Woo! Hindi. Learning. Woo! Learning a lot of it. <laughs> so today, uh, we hit 50K. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so, so Sincerely. much. Sincerely. We've been blown away by the support uh, and the love and yeah. the, the, the rate at which we've grown because of you. Um, thank you so much. Um, so today, uh, to say thank you, a lot of people have asked us to get a little more personal and answer some questions. So this will be a Q&A. Yeah. Um, uh, directly from them. Directly from you that yeah. asked you to ask us some questions. Uh, please know there will still be reactions coming out after this video. This is a bonus. This is a bonus for the day. Oh yeah. You will still get your normal dose of two reactions, if not more. And, and the more subscribers landmarks we hit, the more extra kind of cool bonus stuff. Bonuses. Yeah. So let's just get into the question. Bring it on. The number one question that we were asked was, how did we meet? Are we related? Are we a gay couple? Right, that comes out a lot, which is pretty So awesome. do we. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I met Rick when I was, I believe around six. Yeah. Probably. Yep. Uh, and at that time I was 50. Yes. <laughs> He was in a uh, production at our church uh, school thing. Uh, with yeah, it was a combination. It was a private school connected to a church yeah, in, so, in Texas. So he was in a play with my brother, uh, and so that's how I knew him. And then when I got into high school, he was my high school teacher. Uh, and so if y'all ever wonder why he speaks so much better than I do, he was a teacher for many years. Theater, and also, theater teacher specifically. And also a public speaker. Yes. So obviously he speaks better than I do. But I must say, <laughs> I must say, it thrills me to know. And if and I don't, it, it's his fault. He taught me. It's true. This is true because a teacher only is measured by how good their students do. So I must really suck. Yeah. <laughs> So, and then we became uh, good friends high school, and then we both moved back here to LA at different times. Okay. So that leads us to the second question, what do we do for our profession? Yes. Which is the second most requested. Um, we are both actors. Yeah. Um, which means we're unemployed most of the time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we are both working actors, um, and you can catch me on uh, Lethal Weapon. Yes, you can. And the, the, not the movie, I'm not that old. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the series. The series, and also an upcoming episode of Jane the Virgin, a yes. bunch of commercials. A bunch films, of commercials. All that kind of stuff. Uh, Rick has been in it since he was four. Yep. He was in the Partridge family when he was four, which yep. is why y'all saw him in a little album back here. Which we're gonna check. I may be able to get a Guinness Book of World Records of the youngest person to ever have an album, because that album came out when I was four. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta see if that's yeah. a possibility. Uh, so yeah, that's what we are. Uh, in the meantime, we do like uh, odd jobs. Yep. I've delivered for Amazon before, Ubering, Ubering, blah blah blah, all that yep. kind of stuff. In in between each acting gig, so we don't spend all of our money. Yeah. Another really requested one is um, how do you know Michael Jackson? Oh yeah. Well, I think many of you saw the post I put up on my Instagram. Please uh, follow us on Instagram, Instagram. and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> the the post because it was the anniversary. I didn't even know it was the anniversary of the first American Music Awards that I was on but until I saw Donny Osmond had posted it on his social media. And those of you who saw that, if you didn't, just search Ricky Siegel, Michael Jackson, it'll pop up. The uh, Dick Clark created the American Music Awards that you know. And because I'm 137 years old, it's true. I was on the very first American Music Awards that was hosted by Michael and Donny. And he asked me and Rodney Allen Rippey, who was a child star at the same time as I, to come and do an, an award presentation. And we were kind of like Michael and Donnie's mini-me's. I got paired with Michael, Rodney got paired with Donnie. And my connection with Michael was immediate from that point forward. And we remained very close friends throughout my childhood up and until he released Thriller. At that point, we went in completely different trajectories and he was almost impossible to get in touch with. In fact, I saw Jermaine one day, told him I was trying to get back in touch with Michael, primarily because Michael and I were friends and I knew he didn't have a, his circle of people he could trust was pretty small. And I can actually say, and people get freaked out by this, I've slept with Michael Jackson. Oh my God, that's a dumb thing to say. <laughs> my relationship with Michael, he was nothing but a sweetheart, a gem of a human being, never felt uncomfortable with him, never did anything inappropriate, 
adore him with all of my heart, miss him. Mm -hmm. Next question, are you thinking of visiting India? Of course. Of course we are. Uh, we would we love to, uh, and fortunately it is a little expensive. A little pricey. I actually priced it out the other day for both of us to go just for the flight, it'd be about three grand. Yeah. Uh, Which is the biggest chunk, obviously. Yes, but that doesn't include hotels, Which living, food, doing stuff. There's people already saying, we've got, you yeah. know. <laughs> you can stay with us. Exactly. Thank we you. could probably hop across the entire continent right now and have yeah. enough people who would say stay with us because yeah. you guys are so gracious. Yeah. So, uh, but it is. It's a big chunk of change that we're we're not at the place where we've got enough yeah. subscribers so or if Patreons. So if you know any hookups yeah, about uh, say, hey, flights, yeah. let us know. We'd love to come down. We'd love to vlog it. We'd love to meet all you guys. Yes. Um, but yeah, we the funds would need to be there. So if you'd like to support us on Patreon, the link is down below. <laughs> And I think it's cool if we wait a little bit as much as I want to go, but if we had like a big celebration when we hit say 500,000 or, or a million subscribers mm -hmm. as a celebration. Probably in about a week or two. Week or two. Uh, <laughs> to, to do like a party tour, a stupid party tour of India. Yeah, that'd be fun. And hit all of the places that we possibly can. Yeah. And continue to do the reactions while we're there. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. What do you drink or smoke before you <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is sober Rick and Corbin. Yeah, you should, <laughs> you should see us when we are a little bit bent. Because uh, this is really... We, this isn't a put on, guys. No, no, this is how we... We're oh. spazzes like this all the time. Yeah, so like, if people ask, it's like, do you overreact to... No, this is just how we are together. This is how we talk. This is how we react to things. Yeah. Um, I spent... Like when we get in heated arguments about stuff, especially about movies and or sports or things we're passionate about, it's it's not a show. Like yeah. What you're getting is <laughs> us. We don't change who we are when the cameras are going. Yeah. Why did we start reacting to Indian stuff? Uh, good Great question. question. Uh, also, the, another question is, so, uh, why did we start this channel? Um, why is the name Our Stupid Reactions? Right. So, I guess I can go into that. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Our Stupid Reactions is we, I just asked Rick, this actually started as a podcast yeah. that we don't do. We might actually start a podcast. We did it for like a week. Yeah. 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 Uh, but then nobody cared about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but um, we might start it again. And we did like one reaction and it took off. I think it was like Captain Marvel. Yeah, trailer reaction, and it took off. It got like ten thousand views or something like Over that. Over period of several weeks. Yeah, and we had like no uh, no following at all. Yeah. Um. But and then I changed the name from our stupid podcast to our stupid reactions, because we had never really watched anybody's reactions. No, we knew they existed. Yeah. But, but then you showed me. You're like, look at look at the number of subscribers yeah. these guys are getting. Yeah. And one of the one of the things for uh, a twofold thing for the channel is first of all. Actors, in addition to having a resume, actors are, are it's in this industry, and it wouldn't surprise me if it's the same in India, is the more people that you have that know about you, the better that is for you as an actor because they want to know that you've got people who would follow you and watch you do what you do. And the other thing which is even more important for us was if we were going to create some kind of a channel where we could connect with people, it, it had to be something that we were passionate about, mm -hmm. not just to do it to do it. And we freaking love Film. We're actors, but we also, we love this art form, we love the craft, we're passionate about it. So that's the primary thing that popped up, but India popped up because we got a request. Yeah, we got a request. Out of the blue. For, uh, we had about 1,800 subscribers. Right. We, Which after, we were thrilled about. Yeah, after about two months uh, on YouTube, that's actually pretty that's good. That's really good, yeah. Um, not in comparison to what y'all done, <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it was pretty good. Um, and then somebody requested, uh, so whoever requested is probably one of our oldest subscribers. Absolutely, honestly. like one of the first. Yeah, they requested we react to the Golly Boy uh, trailer. And so we were like, oh, I don't know what this is. So we and, reacted to it and, and it blew up. And we, we were really frustrated because American trailers weren't giving us enough content to post every day. We could only post like twice a week. Yeah. And we were looking for stuff to react to. So he said, you want to try this? I said, sure, why not? Yeah. And then, yeah, and then the Gully Boy got about 100,000 views in like three, four days. Um, and so I was like, well, we need to do more yeah. of this. He sent me a text like, uh, yeah. And then, I don't know if it was the same person, but somebody replied in the thread on Gully Boy, get ready, here come your Indian subscribers. Yeah. And no uh, freaking joke. And then, I so we, we started to do kind of both Hollywood and Bollywood and uh, other Indian um, Hollywood and all those kind of places. Um, but then we did uh, a couple American trailers and they didn't do anything. No. 
So if you, if you ask why we basically only do India, it's because we do whatever people actually want to see. Yeah, and and I know you'll echo with this. And if, if we didn't like this content, yeah. There's no way we'd keep doing yeah, this. Yeah, we've, we've now fallen in love with India and we love that we are learning about a whole new cinematic universe yeah, that man. we don't know about and actors and filmmakers that we, we'd love to work with and all this kind of stuff. So this is a genuine love. This is not just something that we do for views. No we, way. We have now fallen in love with you guys and uh, with the content and so that's basically why. Do you guys have uh, plans to make YouTube full time? Uh, we'd love to. Love that. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> the sooner the better. Yeah. Um, so please, follow us on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how's the Josh? And I think... <laughs> oh, it's... Ju jo Josh. Josh? I think it's Josh. It's spelled Josh, but it's pronounced like Joe Esh. Okay. So it's, how's the Josh? Regardless of what it is, it's higher! Jai Hind! What is your favorite India film so far? That yeah. I, I had someone on Instagram ask me that, and that's that's tough. It's a it's a tie, and I'll tell you who I'm leaning towards, so they get the, the nod. They're both Amir Khan films, mm -hmm. and it's it's Three Idiots because that was the first yeah. the first one that we saw that really touched me and impacted me and made me go, wow, India. But PK, mm. P PK was an, a little extra, le and it's hard because Three Idiots is like the first. Yeah. But PK for me, if someone said which of these two would you want to show to people about Indian film, I I lean on PK. I, I mean, I love every single one of them we've yeah. seen so far. We have not seen a bad one, so thank you yeah. for not recommending us a bad film yet. Yes. Um, my favorites are probably either uh, Yuri or uh, yes. Gu Gully Boy. Yeah, uh, it's more, and Pink is right up there too, man. Yeah, Pink, I mean, I'd love PK and yeah, I'll watch of course. I love three. Like I said, I yeah. love them all. Um, you're nitpicking. Corbin, are you single? No, I am married. Wah, wah, wah. He is married. He has three kids. Yep. I have two dogs. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> they are my children. They really are. Uh, one, I have a, a Labrador Dane. Uh, his name is Sev. If you ever hear somebody crying in the back, that's him. Or him leaning over to knock on a door. Yeah. It's because Severus is in the other room. Yeah. Uh, and then the other one's a Beagle Whippet. Uh, they make no sense. Whippet. His good. name's Kona. Uh, they're both rescues. And they're, they're really awesome. Uh, we have a cat named Pippa. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. We have a turtle named Fred. And we have a tarantula. Stop! Stop it! He heard us talking about him. I have a tarantula named Rose. That yeah. sleeps right by my head. I'm arachnophobic. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I used to bring Rose I to know. class. I wasn't in and class. And Corbin would never come near it. Nope. Okay, no thanks. Not yeah. doing that. Corbin! Do you, what's your ranking in PUBG? I do play PUBG. He does. PUBG Mobile. I don't know, maybe I'll do a Twitch one day so you could get, I'm not a pro or anything. <laughs> I play with his son actually, who yeah. is way better than I am. <laughs> they do, I'm regularly, and then I will get insults through the headphone of Micah <laughs> to me from Corbin. Yep. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I don't know my ranking, sorry, but I do play. Uh, maybe one day I'll give out my user name. What is your personal opinion about the whole reaction channel thing? I mean, I love it, right? We love it. Yeah. <laughs> but love it, but what I don't love, and I didn't know about this, I don't love when I hear comments from you guys about how you've been used, how reaction shit, and you've asked us to please stay true as you grow, to please stay true to what you guys do, and that there are people who know you guys will just latch on to anybody who celebrates you, and that there's people who do that just so they can make money, and that just flat out pisses me off. So that's one thing I hate about the reaction world. Roar and say PKMKB. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but a lot of you- PKMKB! Yeah. So you- Happy now? Everybody's laughing or yeah. I don't know. No, I think it's like a, it goes along with like a pride thing. I don't, it doesn't right. mean something kind of like and, a House of Josh kind of thing. Right, so we should roar. <laughs> have you guys tried to contact Jabby Kawhi? I have contacted Jabby. He actually has, he was talking about this this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to do a reaction. We don't know if it'll happen. He actually <laughs> lives like five miles five away miles from us. Five miles from us, yeah. <laughs> Which is funny. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Uh, we love Jabby. Yeah, we, we think do. he's great. He's uh, fantastic. Uh, he's, the, he's the king of the reaction channels for, for India. And yeah. Um, so, yeah. Can you give me like 50 bucks? If you give us 50 bucks, we can give you $50. That's an easy one. Yeah. Yeah. So. But not if you don't. <laughs> uh, my guess is Rick is 53 and Corbin 36? Wow! <laughs> well, you know what? We do, uh, you do carry yourself older than you are. Yeah. And I've always looked, when I was 18, it sucked. People thought I was like 13. 
And most people never guess my age older than I actually am. But I'm 49 and I will turn 50 on March 10th. And I can't wait. Yeah. Birthday I, with a zero at the end. I'm 27. He's 27. If I shave my beard, I'll look like 16. That is not a joke, guys. It is insane. If you want to, if I can find, if I can find one, I'll put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> so you might it's, be laughing really. It's a 10-year difference without yeah. that hair on his face. Uh, what's your banking account number? Oh, okay. Four seven five. Yep. Five five four seven three two three. That's mine too. Yep. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you hate each other? 10. Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> 10 times 10 <laughs> is how much I hate this city. Yeah. So a lot fast. of you have asked, like, why don't you call it our genuine reactions? We are very sarcastic people. Mm -hmm. So, like, when we say stupid, even though we think we are stupid, intelligent And no one we are stupid. Yeah. We don't think we are actually stupid. That's double it's, entendre. It's a double entendre kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. So, um... How much did you know about India before starting to react on the Bollywood movies? I knew Gandhi. Yeah. And sincerely... We have been, which I think most Americans are, in the mindset of the way you're depicted in the film Gandhi with Ben Kingsley is that your culture's pretty much not changed that much. There's a huge stereotype for you in regard to you being a poor country, yeah. that the caste system is still really important and big to you guys, and that all of your films are just these silly uh, musical number things and that you're trying to catch up with Hollywood. Yeah, there's uh um, Sincerely and we're I was I, getting a tattoo the other day and I was telling them about this channel and they're like, India? Aren't they like a third world country? Is yeah. It's, so that's basically the stereotype and I'm like, no, not at all. Either. How long have you been friends for? We Technically we've been known each other for our, over twenty years. Yeah. How hard is it to be an actor in the in Hollywood guys? As, <laughs> as hard as you think. It's as hard <laughs> it's as hard as you think. It is. Do you like watching cricket? We haven't watched haven't it yet. Haven't watched it yet. I hear the World Cup uh, yeah. cricket and is coming up. This summer. So maybe, uh, no, I think at like the end of March. Will you marry an Indian woman? That would be weird. Yeah. Because uh, we married. would have multiple spouses at that point, which is not something we aspire to do. Why don't you guys go for some interview sessions with Bollywood stars? Yeah. If, if they would come on our yeah. channel, we would. We would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'll I'm call up Amir Khan right yeah, now. He's got nothing better to hey, do. Hey, you want to come on our channel? Uh, yeah, we, we have about 50,000. Hey, Ranveer, <laughs> we'll get you some exposure. <laughs> we would love to if they would lower themselves. If they would come. condescend to come on our program? <laughs> you bet. Uh, one day, hopefully. Corbin, did <laughs> anyone sh say you look like Chris Pratt? Yes. Not before this channel. No, not before the India stuff. I never got that, but now ever. I get it every day. And I never got George Bush, guys. What the heck? Do you regret that you didn't finish your education? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what is your secret talent? I can't tell you. It's inappropriate. It wouldn't be a secret anymore. <laughs> what is your best impression? What do you think is my best impression? Because if I say it myself, it doesn't it's matter. It's probably Robin or Jack. Or Jack, Jackson. yeah. Um, yours, is yours is Jack Sparrow. Oh, yes. Now let me tell you something about my impressions. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, why do you want me to do Mrs. Doubtfire, dear? I'm so glad you could join us, folks. And those of you who leave bad comments, you are wicked, wicked people. <laughs> but I love you anyway, dear. So maybe one day we'll do like an impression uh, yeah. video. Yeah. Because we both can do impressions. Someone asked me about this. You'll find it, but real quick. I had put a hashtag, stupid nation, and they pointed out, don't do anything that could be contrived as negative to India, like I was calling the nation stupid. Yeah. Okay, in America, we have this thing where if you're like, you're a Red Sox fan, you're part of the Red Sox nation. If you're a Yankee fan, you're part of the Yankee nation. If you ever see that, I deleted it on that post, because mm -hmm. I realized, oh wow, that could be completely misconstrued. So if you ever see a hashtag, you won't, but in the past, because <laughs> I won't do it, it's not an insult to India by any stretch. It's just saying we're all part of this nation. And I like family better anyway. Yeah. Because uh, that's how I feel we are. Also, there's, I think, some stuff lost in translation. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, it happens a lot in a couple videos that we think are awesome. And, like, ex action sequences and we start laughing. laughing. I think y'all think that's an insult. I in America, like, when something's, like, awesome, somebody gets their head chopped off and we go... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like a compliment. And yeah, being like, this is awesome. I can't wait for this. Yes, it's not laughing at it. No, if we're laughing at it, no, we actually won't laugh if we think it's stupid. They say like it happened on our most recent. What was that? Uh, 
the the new trailer that dropped about the seek uh oh uh, the, the brand new film yeah yeah but yes. I forget the name of it. Me too. But uh, it looked awesome, and we can't wait to see it. Um, but people, it was like, don't laugh. The respect yeah, these the people are so it's a true, awesome. It, it, we're not laughing at them we're, at we're, all. We're actually, that is our way of expressing our excitement, our excitement and thinking something's freaking awesome. So I think it's a different culture thing because it happens like in Avengers. You'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, you'll you'll laugh because it looks awesome. Because it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So uh, please know that we would never make fun. No. of a different culture. Very important to us. Uh, who's your favorite actor in, uh -huh. in Bollywood so far? It's probably Mir Khan. We've seen most of his stuff. Yeah, uh, I obviously the guy in Pink is phenomenal too. Yes. Um, the Alia Abad, for me. Alia Bhatt. Alia, Alia. Alia is the one for me who, as well as Amir, those two are the ones that have been just. Utterly mesmerizing yeah, yeah. to me. They were great. Yeah. How did you start doing the Instagram and Twitter? I don't know. I just it started just doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Corbin just did it one time, and for a few few of our reactions, it was just Corbin. Yeah. Same thing. Juicy content is a Corbin creation that just came out of yeah. game nights that we had at my place. Yeah. Where Corbin would just randomly throw out juicy content. Mm. Corbin, are you of Irish descent? Obviously. What do you think? <laughs> what made you wonder? <laughs> Who's the better actor between you two? Wow. wow. He sucks. Are you so, kidding? Uh, <laughs> um, Theater-wise, it's clearly this this man. That's the yeah, I, I, <laughs> but that's not a fair comparison. And I, I uh, because you haven't you haven't ventured into theater. Yeah. So that's not a really fair comparison. Happened, um, but obviously, Corbin's you guys, no, he's much bigger uh, expression-wise yeah. than I am because of his theater background. And I'll tell you what, I guarantee you. Because of auditions that I've done. And he can sing, I can. His, your capacity for film exceeds mine in the smallness area. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's just because I think I've never done theater, though. It, it very well could be. It very well so could it's be. So it's more natural for me to stay yeah. right there as could opposed be. to go bigger. Because you've been in, he's been in lots of theater production. What's your favorite movie? Not okay. Bollywood. Yeah. I don't, I don't have a favorite film, honestly. I have a different genres of favorite films. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite comedy is probably Airplane. I think that's the funniest it's a legendary film of all comedy. Time. Uh, it's so good. Um, my favorite comedy, if you let's do it by genre. Okay. My favorite comedy is going to be Young Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. Young Frankenstein. Gene Wilder's amazing. Yeah. Uh, the rest, I, uh, it's very difficult. I can tell you my favorite TV show of all time. It's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Unquestionably. And Harry Potter is probably up there as the whole series. We are both big Potterheads. I'm a yeah. Slytherin. He's a Hufflepuff. Yep. If you are Harry Potter, that's heads, the Deathly Hollows. Many of you've seen it. Uh, I, I have. Rocky has a place in my heart because, as I've mentioned, that was the first film that ever really spoke to my heart. And Stallone became very much an, a, a role model and idol for me growing up as a kid. Rocky and Rambo. But the the I remember. I always go back to Braveheart, with Mel Gibson. Gladiator, is at the top of the list for me as well. And then, though it's really hard to watch for me, my favorite and the most important of the dramas has, is Schindler's List. Yeah. And Spielberg's my favorite director. Yeah. Uh, what about your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Daniel Day Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, he's technically, amazing. in my heart, I think he's the best. My favorite that's currently acting is probably Tom Hardy. Yeah, which is he's a beast. Uh, but I must say, I gotta add this acting. to to as much as Daniel Day Lewis for me is the greatest shapeshifter I've ever seen in my life, and the most technically brilliant actor I've ever beheld. But my heart and the one who has had the most personal impact on me is Robin. Yeah, is Robin Williams. Yeah, that man's amazing. Yeah, since Mork and Mindy, I watched that episode on Happy Days when he first came on, and from that moment on for the rest of my life, Robin was an idol of mine. I just and he did he did everything. Yeah. He was a great dramatic actor. He was a great comedian. And uh, yeah, lead, bottom of my list is Corbin Miles. That's true. Worst actor ever, probably. He's also probably on the bottom of my list. Yeah, that's um, true. But he does make a bunch of money. He does <laughs> way more than me. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> <get it. laughs> so yeah, that was our Q and A. Uh, hey, thank you so much for out. your questions. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, thank you so much for your support. Uh, we Namaste. love you, love you, love you. We love you. Namaste, Unka Corbin Shay. I don't know, I didn't learn it. Unka Corbin Shay? <laughs>